Okay, in this video we're going to do some selective brightening. Um, I'm working with a photo here uh, by given to me to use by Mary Daly and she has excellent shots of the Wyoming countryside and horses in particular and uh, it's tradition in her family going back all the way to her father Arthur Daly and um, so we've got a nice image here that she's got, and I was working on it with her in the lab, and I want to show you some of the some of the things that we did. So, um, so Mary was working on this image, and she started about by putting in some improvements. So she did some adjustment layers. So she did a curves adjustment layer, and on her curves adjustment layer, she put in an S curve. Okay, something like that. And, all right, so she put in a curves adjustment layer, and then she also decided to put in a levels adjustment layer. Okay, darken that up, and lighten that up. Okay, and so she really was able to snap the image together right and make some improvements right and particularly darkening the sky here a little bit and that kind of thing and but then I suggested that possibly on her image you can see we'll look at her image here same thing that possibly even though she had darkened the sky pretty good the trees here in this area had gotten a little bit too dark now you can see in my version, um, the trees are not quite as dark. So let me try to make, let me, let me make mine mimic hers a little bit more. Okay. All right. So, so in this case, the image is looking pretty good. It's got a heightened, uh, uh, heightened contrast. It's got, uh, the colors are a lot richer, and you can see here before it was a little bit washed out, and so now it's a little richer, but it's a little bit too dark down here in this tree line, let's say. So here's one thing that I suggested that we could do. What we could do is we could duplicate this bottom layer by dragging it to the new layer icon, or using Control J on your keyboard, or Alt J. Let's try that. All right, so you got here, Control J will also do a copy of the layer. So I've got a copy of this layer, and what I want to do with this layer is I want to just brighten this layer quite a bit. So I'm going to take this layer, and I'm going to do a levels adjustment right on it. Adjustment, levels, and I want to brighten it quite a bit. All right, and I'll brighten the midtones here. So I'm brightening this one quite a bit too bright in fact but I'm not looking at the sky okay I'm not caring about everything that's getting washed out I'm just looking at the trees and how that's looking so I'm click OK so now I've got on top this this way too bright layer and underneath I've got this darker layer so I've got a dark layer and a bright layer and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to use a layer mask here so that I can selectively use portions of this brighter layer but for the overall image we'll be using the darker layer so I'll show you what I mean so on this layer right here this bright layer the super bright layer I'm gonna put in a layer mask okay and you can see here that the layer mask comes in as white so what you can do is is you can actually flip that when you create the layer mask or you could paint it black after the fact so in other words with the layer mask I could say edit fill foreground color which is black and click OK and it turns the mask black or what I could have done is delete the layer mask is I could hold down the alt key when I'm clicking the layer mask and it'll come in as black now the reason we want that is black in the mask conceals the image white reveals the image so so with black we don't see any of the bright image 
But if we were to have white here, right? If we were to have white there, edit fill with white or gray, we can see we can we can we'll actually see the brightness happening. So what we want to do though, edit undo, is we want it black. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a paintbrush. Let's see here. And I'm going to make the brush kind of a big brush. And I want it to be a soft brush. All right. Maybe a little bit bigger. You can see it here. Maybe a lot bigger. All right. And make it pretty soft. All right. And that looks good. And I'm going to lower the opacity down to about let's say 70. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting in here. And as I paint in, it'll be painting white. I click on the mask before I do any painting so that I make sure I'm not on the image, but that I'm on the mask. And watch what happens as I paint in the image. It will start bringing in some of this lighter color. And I need white here, of course, on top. So I'm going to flip these color chips. And as I paint, you can see here that it'll start brightening up and bringing in the brightness from the lighter area to show through in this tree line. And so I can bring that in and I can really just kind of brighten up the areas of the trees here that I want to be brighter. So kind of selective brightening using a light layer on top of a dark layer and then a layer mask to do the brightening. And you can already see it's making quite an improvement. And we'll see here. And so now if I turn this layer on and off, you can see there it is. And then, and you can see it's like turning lights on into the trees. So too dark here. And then this light layer, turn that on. And with the mask, if you alt click in the mask, you can see I've actually just painted this white area here, right? selectively so that it's selectively I'm going to hold down the alt key and click on the mask again to remove that and and then it allows part portions of of the light layer to show through wherever the mask is white and wherever the mask is black we don't see it so but the effect is quite nice because it allows me to basically selectively brighten the image